We are going to spend a little bit of time right now uh, on dimensioning this object. Now, if you just need to see what the object looks like when it's dimensioned, go ahead and stop the video right now and you can actually just zoom in and see it. If you need to see how this all goes down, well, follow along. So we are going to start right now with an undimensioned object and I will put our ISO or 3D drawing right back there. Now it's important to remember that this drawing is a scaled drawing. Um, generally the drawings we've done previously have been you know the exact size so they've been in quarter inch um, or divisible by a quarter inch. This one is a scale drawing meaning that one square equals one centimeter. So just take that into advisement. Um, I always like to start with a point of origin when I'm doing things which is right there. Remember you want to try to keep all of your dimensions on the inside of your drawing. Try never to dimension on the outside. So I am going to start with this center line like so. Um, I am going to bring this out right there. Actually I'm going to erase that because it went crooked. There we go. And bring that down. Remember that you don't want your dimension lines really touching your object lines or your other lines. Uh, have an arrow, have an arrow. Now this is a very small space, so I can't actually write anything in there. But what I'm going to do is write 10.00. Now you remember that this one square equals one centimeter. Well, one centimeter is kind of a large measurement to actually dimension things, so we're just going to do millimeters. Because remember, one millimeter, or excuse me, ten millimeters equals one centimeter. So we've got that done. Now next, moving on up, I want to deal with this circle and this radius right here. Now radiuses, or radii, um, are generally done with an arrow, like so, a line coming off, and then a horizontal line. So this is R for radius, and since this takes one box, uh, it is 10.00 times 2. So that is 1 centimeter, or 10 millimeters, and there's two of them, 1, 2. Now next we have this circle to contend with, so much the same thing. Have a arrow pointing it out, just like so. And this is diameter, so it's a circle with a line through it, uh, 10.00 times 3, just like so. Um, we have to tell everyone where these holes actually are, so we have to locate these holes. So I'm going to draw a dimension line right there, dimension line there, dimension line there, and finally, dimension line there. This is 20 millimeters or 2 centimeters. This is 30 millimeters or 3 centimeters. And this is 30 millimeters or 3 centimeters. Draw my arrows in here. and can connect them in there. That tells us where those holes are located and we know, let's see, where they're located up, we know their diameter, and we know how far they are across. Now we need to locate an actual length measurement of the entire object, which we'll do right here. Uh, and it is, let's see, let me get my arrows in there. It is 10 centimeters or 100 millimeters long. Right there. Now the last thing that we need is a width measurement. So I'm going to go up and up right there. 
Uh, it's a little skinny to actually put anything in there. And let's see, I've got too much going on here, so I'm going to relocate this dimension, try to make it a little bit tighter. There we go, and this is 10.00. Zero. Okay, so this is this dimension. All of our dimensions fall inside the object. It's not overly constrained or overly dimensioned, and we have it to scale, so one square equals one centimeter. So go ahead and stop this video, rewind, and replay as many times as you need to get the concept.